Hey, welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. Okay, so I've been letting it play here for quite a while. In fact, I might as well let it go. Um, well, how many hours has it been? I know you're noticing a little bit of changes here, but not much. Uh, it's been about four hours, guys. So, and you see the frame rate is not too good right now. It gets kind of bouncing back and forth. Sometimes we'll get that low frame rate stuff, which I'm guessing might have something to do with... These giant sparrows, like I said, that's just a theory of mine. Um, sort of sometimes it'll sort of tank and then go down that far, but usually it's in the 30s and 40s. So it seemed like we we're getting a little bit back, but we just had another goblin siege, another large one, and I think everyone got in this time. I've decided not to do the dump on all this stone and wood right now. In favor of cleaning up the weapon traps. I'm starting to think the weapon traps are not a good idea at all. And if you remember my oldest Let's Play, which is Scarlet Rocks. And actually some of the other ones too. I sort of made that determination that it actually creates more work than it, you know, than it really helps. So, <laughs> um, I, I think, uh, I may end up disassembling some of these and putting cage traps in. And you'll see we, a lot of these cage traps have not yet been emptied, but I made like a little walkway up here. See, up on the, near the volcano, and a bunch of them path through here. And up here, and I mean like almost all of these cage traps have been filled with something. We also had a giant, a female giant come in. She ended up killing um, probably about six or seven of our guys. Because they were too stupid to drop their things to go into you know, going to the base, so she caught them right around here, and I have extended and enlarged our corpse and refuse stockpile, and I'm actually starting to floor over the insides here, because I'm sick and tired of the trees that are growing in here, so uh, there are, like, there's a hole right now, as you see right there, where there was a tree, but I'm going to floor over all of it, and uh, now the weapon traps are okay, but, like, I'm, I might put them all in this area, and remove the cage traps from this area. So, and maybe, I don't know, maybe the weapon traps in here, because then you can close these areas off and clean them up and then reset them. And they're closer to your base, so if you have to dump stuff, that's the way you do it. So I have this set up now, and I decided to put cage traps in mostly for this, but these, these two here are still the weapon traps. They just have a lot of vomit on them, because these guys are having problems with the outdoors. And we're still not even done with those cage traps from last time, even after three or four hours. But I did queue up a lot of other traps around the area, and they got distracted by them. So that's sort of what why that is. I'm hoping at some point here... Oh, great, another Feymood. Um, I did trade more food and stuff and got rid of some more food. I'm hoping to... This is the way into the back of this uh, this area. So we have that closed off currently with a thing here, a bridge. What did you take? Mason shop, all right. And I'm melting down a lot of our equipment that I don't like. And I'm still doing large serrated copper discs. I'm like getting a lot of copper back from this because I want to use mostly iron for everything. So that's sort of what we're doing. Uh, let's see, we're currently doing bins, barrels, and cages, and repeats, and we really need a lot of those. Not much happening in this level. And I expanded the corpse stockpile down here. Now I'm going to, as soon as they actually make this lever, which I haven't done yet, is going to make a quantum stockpile for things I want destroyed to, to hopefully recover some more frame rates. I would probably get rid of all this corpse stuff and maybe some of the refuse stuff from up, upstairs. And... Maybe some of these broken clothing. At this point, I don't really care about stuff from the outside. These two guys have been here. They're, I think they're human caravan people or something. I don't know what they are. Human pikemen. Human lasher. I don't really know what they're doing here. They must have came in with a human caravan and got trapped in here. I don't really remember. So, I haven't done the, um, the slabs yet for some of these new guys that got killed. So, I think they're over here. All the temples have been set up, in case you're wondering. Of course, that was from a couple episodes ago. Uh, what else is there? see a lot of clothing in here. You know why that is? 
because of all the captured uh, and killed goblins and trolls, mainly goblins, I'd say trolls have large clothing, the goblins' clothing are now being used as replacements for our clothing, so every time that happens, we discard our broken clothing. So I decided not to do any dumping on this because our dump is now above ground, remember? I told you that last time. So they, they, look, we still have lots of trapped guys in here. They haven't even been moved up, up there yet. And they never did this wall here. I, this has been going on for quite a while, even when they were trapped in here with the siege. So I am going to have to probably cancel this. I don't know how I'm going to get this built. I'm almost going to have to literally build a floor next to it and undo and redo those those spots. I don't know. That's annoying. Well, I don't know. What I, I, I don't know any other way of around doing it. And even though I put all my dogs in the stockpile down there, for some reason the dogs keep wandering around. I think they're attached to a guy, and one of them's a, a, a pet, and then it's just breeding a lot of, uh, oh, spring, never mind, hold on. Okay, so we're back, after spring has arrived, yay. Well, anyway, as I was saying, I think those dogs are from a pet, from one of the rangers. I, I see a big line of them following one of the rangers, I think that might be him there. Okay, great, great, what are you making? Great, okay, that's wonderful. I don't really care. At this point, I think there's been a few other uh, mysterious uh, constructions done. I'm not going to bother to show you them right now. A duck has been found dead. No! Oh, heavens to Betsy. Heavens to Betsy, no. So that's, the, that's where we're at right now. I'm probably going to end the episode, in fact, because I really honestly just... Because nothing's really getting done, I I don't know what to do about this. Uh, like I said, I, I'm seriously thinking of deconstructing the weapon traps on the outsides, particularly the ones that are further out that I did. Because I just I think it's just too many just too many things are getting uh, too many hauling duties. So I can't even tell them to go and haul this stuff in because we got so many other things from the goblins. Now we're still gonna you're still gonna get stuff from the goblins anyway, for like when they're shooting at things with these freaking arrows and stuff, so Yeah, that's that's sort of a thing. Ah, <sighs> they finished this, looks like they did. I'm just gonna end up doing is flooring over everything, maybe walling off sections of this. I don't know what to do yet about this this here. Thief, yay. Usually they come in groups of twos and threes now. I'm sure another one's going to pop up here in a minute. So at any rate, guys, um, yeah, as you see, the frame rate went up a little. Not much, but uh, that's where we're at right now. I'm going to try and uh, make the changes I need to make, get everything hauled in, and if our frame rate hasn't recovered, then I'm going to call it end of the series. But there'll definitely be at least one or two more episodes before I do that I'll probably hint at it in the next one whether or not I'm, I'm leaning that direction it's just looking at it's becoming unplayable right now particularly as a let's play it's more like play it for four hours and do an update and that's about all I can do right now because of the frame rate so um, apologies for that but again it's not my game I didn't make it so they have to start working on some optimization things otherwise people just can't play the game anymore I was going to say, uh, I might do my one-by-one one embark at some point. I might take a break once this series ends, and before I do that one-by-one one one embark, I may give it a couple months. Uh, maybe we'll see if another update comes out or something, or I don't really know. Uh, so I might wait a bit for that, but it'll be coming out, so that'll probably be the next one. And that's really, I'm only going to do that because of the frame rate problems. I really have no other reason to do a one-by-one one embark other than that. Um, because unfortunately I never even got to the point where I could do the military. I wanted to get everything in from outside so that all those people that had to hauling could go and start doing military. So, yeah, that never got there. <laughs> we, it ended up becoming more of a mega project because it's just, it's a, it was a lot of outside work that I had done. Uh... Much more than I anticipated, probably, when I first started this thing. 
I don't think that's what caused the problems. I think I'm not even really sure that the breaking down these hills caused these problems either, but a marble coffin, yay. Um, should I show you this? Yeah, a lot of stuff here. See, I did it on your spear. So need an amulet. Alright, let's just take a look at this. Alright, I'm not gonna read about what all this stuff is. You wanna pause it and read it? I will, but I wanna get to the part where it actually has pictures of things. Image of lucid stalkers, the somber thirst of the void, the silver crown. So we've got a picture of one of our other things on there, I think. And a picture of some kind of gem in beak dog leather. Hooray! What I'm hoping to do, though, before the end of the series, is I want to dump these guys into this, this here. Dump them into the volcano. But I can't do that because I really want to have them, my guys, take all their items off of them, strip them. Because otherwise, if you try and haul them up there, they'll be fully armed and, and armored and all that. We really, we really don't want that. So that's something I want to do. I think as soon as we get everything done here on the outside, my guys are kind of milling about doing nothing again. I'll probably do put an order in for that. And that's what we'll look into doing. That'll be maybe the homework I can do. And this is where our quantum stockpile is right here. I'm not doing a reclaim on it at all. Because I think I've accidentally had some of the clothing put in there. I don't really want the clothing creating more hauling hauling tasks because that has been creating a lot of hauling tasks, some of these broken clothes that I I uh designated down below. So, I guess I you see where I'm going with it. It's just, right now it's all hauling work. All of it. Particularly cleaning up all the old, old cage traps. Cleaning up all the rubbish from the shredded up goblins and trolls. And uh, moving things around. So sadly, it's just, it's going to be another two, three, four hours worth of work to clean all this up. Make the changes I said I was going to do. And hopefully we can correct this finally uh, I'm starting to wonder whether maybe I should no I'm not gonna break apart these weapon traps yet I wanna wait for these guys to actually get to the point where they cleared up all the stuff outside here mainly corpses and the arrows that are strewn about but we're already getting to the point where we're running out of room so I might make more corpse stockpiles even all right, so I guess that is it, guys, because I really just, like I said, I can't really play it like this as a Let's Play. It's more like an update every so often thing now. All right, so adios, folks.